So let's start first with the concept of radiation pressure. So we have, uh, when we shine a, a laser of a certain frequency over an atom, we can excite that atom to one of its excited states as long as we use the laser with the specific frequency which matches the energy level of that atom. When we do so, the atom gets excited and then after a while goes back into the ground state emitting a photon in a random direction. That's not the whole story. There is another bit that is important. When the atom is, um, is excited by the laser beam, it also collects a little bit of recoil in the direction of the laser. It's like the laser is pushing it towards the direction it absorbs the photon. But when then it re-emits the photon from the excited state, that photon is emitted in any random direction. So that's the concept of radiation pressure. When we send a laser from on an atom and we keep exciting and then it de-excites, exciting and de-excite, progressively it requires a velocity in the direction of the laser. Then the second concept is about the Doppler effect. As I said before, an atom can only accept photons of a specific frequency. So let us imagine now that we send the laser with a little bit of a wrong frequency to excite the atom. The atom will not feel the laser exciting it unless it's moving either towards or away from the laser. This effect is pretty much uh, like when we hear the ambulance change its tone as we are driving on the highway. If the atom goes towards the laser, it might get excited, whereas if it goes in the other direction, nothing happens. But since we have radiation pressure now, we have constructed a mechanism for the atoms to react only if they have a specific velocity, because we can select only, for instance, the atoms that are traveling towards the laser. Those that have a specific velocity absorb, re-emit, get a kick. And so, over the course of many of these cycles, the laser actually pushes them back. The third concept for laser cooling is that we have to play this game twice. We now have two laser beams, one from coming from the right, one coming from the left, and both of them are off with respect to the frequency the atom can get excited by a tiny bit. So in this way, the atom will get excited if moves at a given velocity towards the right laser, get pushed towards the left, or when it moves towards the right. At that given velocity, again, it gets excited and cooled down and pushes back. So the overall effect is that along this direction, because of the presence of the two lasers, the atoms get repelled by the lasers only if they have a specific velocity towards these two beams and progressively get slowed down. 